Hey everyone interested in technology and cybersecurity? Watch our video and get to learn everything about white hat hackers and ethical hacking. On our channel, we discuss the latest tech industry trends that drive innovations in our world. At the end of this video, you get a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a professional ethical hacker. And don't forget to subscribe now to make sure you won't miss our new videos. Well, now let's start. What is ethical hacking and who are ethical hackers? Ethical hacking is an authorized attempt to reveal system vulnerabilities with the help of hacking techniques and tools. An ethical hacker is a security professional who carries out this duty. What do ethical hackers do? Only using real-world attack methods is the best way to test the security of the system. Yeah, you heard it right. Ethical hackers should think like the villains their organizations are trying to stop. Ethical hackers study and professionally execute hacker attacks, and then present common risks and vulnerabilities and suggestions for improvement. Ethical hackers have roles, depending on their specific skills or specialization. They are categorized into cybersecurity researchers, penetration testers, and information security analysts. To become an ethical hacker, you ideally need to complete the training and earn a CEH certification. But there are other types of certifications and courses, such as the Certified Information Systems Security Specialist, CISP, or the Certified Registry of Ethical Security Testers, CREST. You might be wondering, where do white hackers find orders? Orders for white hackers are published on resources such as HackerOne, BugCrowd, SafeHats, and Synac. Additionally, huge companies like Google, Facebook, Apple, and PayPal have their bug bounty programs. So you don't need an order to start working. White hackers' income depends a lot on skill and luck. But CEH certified professionals typically earn 44% more than their uncertified counterparts. Checks for a single entry can be $500 or $20,000 so you can easily earn $100,000 to $150,000 a year working from home. However, the information a hacker owns can be worth millions. Do you think a lot of them are going to the dark side? Share your thoughts in the comments. So what are the career prospects of ethical hackers? The choice is wide enough. An ethical hacker can start his service or product company or become the head of the cybersecurity department. As an example, 21-year-old George Hotz hacked into the Sony PlayStation 3 platform and was involved in a court battle. Later on, George was hired by Facebook. Now, let's find out how you can become a white hat hacker in 10 steps. Step 1. Start by learning Linux. It's one of the most commonly used hacking operating systems and provides many tools for hackers. We recommend Kali Linux distributions as specially adapted for hacking. Step 2 learn to program in C. This is the foundation for learning Linux since it is written in C. But in our experience, even if you're bad at coding, it will not stop you from becoming a good hacker. At the very least, you should be able to read the code. Step three, learn web development. The document object model, DOM, of a website comprises a website rendered as HTML templates or views. And hackers are just fine at finding security flaws and manipulating the DOM to get what they want. Step four, explore networking concepts. Another important step towards becoming a hacker is having a good grasp of networking concepts and understanding how networks are created. Step five, master free open source ethical hacking tools such as Wireshark. It offers a good introduction to TCP IP and Nmap Network Mapper E, so you can track and test for weaknesses. About best testing and quality assurance methodologies, read our article on the topic. You can find the link in the description box. Step six, explore the hidden network. The dark net has a legitimate side and you need to know how it works. Step seven, cryptography, also called the art of secret writing, is something you as a hacker must master. And encryption and decryption are essential hacking skills. Encryption is widely used in several aspects of information security and authentication, 
confidentiality, and data integrity. Step 8. You can practice vulnerability assessment and penetration testing on the dedicated Try Hack Me resource. Step 9. Learn to hack web applications. An impressive amount of rewards most often comes from bugs found in a web app or mobile app. Mark Litchfield, a well-known white hacker and bug bounty hunter, made over $500,000 in a year looking for and reporting vulnerabilities on websites. Step 10. Chat with other hackers and communities and forums. They will share their knowledge with you and teach you how to work in a team. Keep in mind that hacking is a skill that requires artistic thinking, and there is no direct path to success. So, do you want to become a white hacker? Let us know in the comments. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the latest technology trends and news, so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to like and press the bell button. Bye for now.